you must take the next step on your journey from warrior to teacher. But I'm no good at it. Oh no! It's the dragon teacher! He's so handsome! What the? Oh? Oh, hey, Dad. What's up? You're terrible at it. Kung Fu Panda 3. So, Kung Fu Panda 3 is the new DreamWorks animated film that follows Poe, the panda who knows Kung Fu. If you've watched the first two movies, then you know all about him. And this time, in this movie, he is figuring out who he is. He meets his dad, and he goes back to the secret village of the pandas. And all the while, he has to learn how to defeat the master, Kai, who is back from the spiritual realm by embracing the art of the chi. That's, that's the plot. Alright, so I'm going to go over the positives first. First off, I really love the animation style of the movie. I love how it looks. It, it looks amazing. And I love when it goes into like the montages, when it goes into something that looks more hand-drawn. And it embraces the use of color a lot more. I really, really enjoyed uh, those parts. Another big positive is the voice acting. The voice acting is really good. Um, Brian Cranston lends his voice to this movie as Poe's dad and uh, he's a really good voice actor and him and Jack Black together worked really well. Also I really enjoyed in this movie that they explored into the supernatural realm of this world that they've created, this world that's so interesting. I really enjoyed that they went to the spiritual and supernatural side of it. And the moments of drama do more or less work. There are a few good moments, like powerful dra dramatic moments in this movie. Now I'm just going to mention this before I get into the issues that I had with the movie. I do think this movie is good. I think it's a good movie. It's certainly not a bad movie, but I do have issues with it. The first thing I'm going to mention is the tone didn't work. Um, there was too many things going on with the tone. There was drama, there was comedy, there was supernaturalism, there was action, there was adventure, and most of those things did work, except for the comedy, really. like The, the comedy I found to be vastly inferior to the other things going on, like the drama and the supernaturalism and the adventure. Um, but also, I didn't find those things to mesh together very well. Um, I, I think if it wanted to go with a comedy, it could, it could have been a lot more like, say, the Lego movie, which was funny and quick and just a really fast-paced movie with not a lot of time to breathe. I would have enjoyed that movie, or I would have enjoyed it if it just stuck to drama and supernaturalism with, like, hints of comedy. Just hints of comedy. Because uh, it is a funny concept, I guess, a, a panda being kung fu. That's That leads me to, to my next point. There's so many jokes about pandas being lazy and fat. It's the same joke over and over. It, it gets boring, honestly. There was parts of this movie where you could sleep through about 10 minutes and all you would really miss is like a couple of scenes where uh, Poe and his dad just talk about how lazy and fat pandas are. Another thing to talk about with Kung Fu Panda 3 is that the dialogue in the movie is very cookie cutter, very dull. Uh, the plot events that take place are very cliche and it's, it's boring. And it does do that annoying thing that a lot of kids movies do where they'll just straight up tell you how you're supposed to feel or the music will strongly infer how you're supposed to feel like it won't leave you to your own imagination at all like if something really cool happens in the movie if if poe does like an awesome flip or something there'll be like five people being it, like side characters being like oh that's awesome instead of just being awesome you know or or the or the music will be so incredibly clear on what you're supposed to feel that like you you don't have to use your brain at all when you watch a movie and sure if that attracts you to go see the movie then that's fantastic and kids are are gonna love it um but i i don't think that we should tone down making an intelligent movie uh just for kids that that's disrespectful to kids kids are smart they they can pick up on shit they have uh they have a subconscious too that that picks up on little notes of of things going on in the story uh, a good example is Inside Out. Inside Out respected kids enough to tell them a story that works for everybody. 
I won't get too much into the plot holes, but I will mention that there are plot holes and it does detract from the movie. Another issue that I had was that Poe acts a lot stupider than I think he should be acting. I mean, this is the third movie and I get that he is a panda and he is clumsy and he's bumbling and all that stuff, but it's the third movie. He's been trained in Kung Fu and all that stuff. He's supposedly the the dragon warrior that has to be, go on and become a teacher and teach all the other people in the kung fu world but he he's presented pretty stupid like he, th there's a twist near the end to do with his dad that the audience saw like a mile away he should be able to see that and and all the other characters like master shifu should be able to see that um but you know plot conveniences. And my last thing is that the conclusion of the movie, the ending, I found to be a little bit happy and perfect uh, in relation to how much sense the end of the movie actually made. Yeah, I won't really get into the ending, uh, but the, the lesson of the movie is to be yourself, and the power of being yourself is strong enough to fight off any evil. Which is a good lesson, but I just felt like that there was a lot of um, shortcuts taken in that ending and in the movie. But again, please don't get me wrong, this isn't a bad movie. Kung Fu Panda 3 is a good movie. Um, is it as good as the first two? Probably not. Um, but that was probably pretty predictable. And Kung Fu Panda, for me, is going to get a 6 out of 10. For those of you who understand that rating from me, I thank you. Have you seen Kung Fu Panda 3 yet? What did you think? Do you think I'm full of shit? Do you think I am correct? Comment below, let me know, let's talk about it, and like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more 2016 movie reviews and other stuff. Thanks for watching, guys.